Today I would like to discuss what they don't tell you about your new oven range at the store. You know, when you see it at the store, it looks nice and pretty like this. There's only one thing they don't tell you, and that's what we're going to go over today. Now this would apply if you are living in an older house. Probably this video will not apply to you if you're living in a newer house in the last couple years. So anyhow, we live in a house that's over 30 years old, of course. It's a gas range. You see how it kind of sits out from the wall a little bit? You see how it sits out farther from the countertops? Well, there's nothing we can do about that unless you hire a plumber or you tear the wall apart. And we'll get into that later. But here's, the, here's what they don't tell you. When you buy your new range and oven, and if you live in an older house, more than likely your oven is going to stick out this far unless you do something that you know I will recommend you do at the end of the video. But first, I have to, we have, this is the problem. It's a minor, to me it's not really a problem. If you're a nitpicker, oh, that's out, that's sitting out there too far. So you need to know this because I did not know, I did not know this. And if I did not know it, I'm sure there's many, many other people who don't know it. So, okay, why did this happen? Why is the oven sitting out so far away from the wall? It's because in the older houses, the natural gas pipe comes out from the wall, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But let's go to the old oven. This is going to explain it a little better. All the older ovens and ranges were designed like this. You see how the back of it is indented in? I'll show you with the tape measure. You see how it goes in a good three, four inches right there? Now the reason why they made this, the ovens in a stove, stove like this, and I think they were doing this up to probably three or four years ago, because the pipes come out of the wall, and so you have this indentation in the back of the oven, and that means your, your oven can flip, fit uh, closer to the wall. So here's, so again, this is how they used to make them. This is the old oven. So I just want to make sure you know what, what you see here. Your, your old oven is probably going to look like this. So we replaced our old oven. And then here in a moment, I will take you back to the new uh, range. And I'll show you what the problem is. Okay. So you see what the old ones look like. I don't want to keep on repeating myself, but that's the old one, has the indentation. Now here's the new oven. You see how the pipe comes out of the wall? That's standard for most track homes out west. Look at the back of the oven. I wish I could have done a picture of this before I put it in there, but I didn't. See how the back of the oven is flat? There's no indentation. This is what you need to know because they don't show, when you're buying the oven at the store showroom, they don't show you the back of the oven. So the back of the ovens are no longer indented in. That's the problem. So here's what you have to do. You have to hire a plumber and you have to cut out the wall. You have to cut out the um, drywall. Okay, so the reason why I'm making this video is it's better if you do this before your oven arrives, you see. I didn't know about it. Again, you see how the back of the new ovens are flat. They're not recessed in. So that's the problem. The old ovens used to have the backs were recessed in. That would allow this type of piping coming out of the wall to be okay. Now you see here, you, you cannot... The, the oven cannot go back any farther because, you know, the pipe's in the way. So here's the bottom line. Before you buy your new stove, understand this, and then hire a plumber because you need somebody. This is natural gas we're dealing with, and you're going to need somebody who knows how to deal with it. They're going to cut the drywall out, and then you, the plumber is going to reconfigure the natural gas piping and put those pipes inside the wall. See, so if your wife wants everything looking perfect, understand this you're going to have this the best time to do this is hire the plumber before you buy your new stove because your new stove is not going to be recessed in the the back it's not going to be recessed in so you're you're going to need to put these pipes farther back into the wall have to be reconfigured please get a licensed uh, contractor to do that because we're dealing with natural gas here well good luck and i hope this has been helpful to people 
because I know I did not know about it, and hey, maybe there's a lot more people who don't know about it. Thank you.